Hello and welcome back. In the last video, we looked at how to kind of work with Network X to produce uh, really rudimentary data for storing uh, graph data as a list with two different individuals, Tom and Jerry. And we eventually added a third individual named J uh, Tom too, because as we learned, you cannot have two individuals of the same name in the same graph. In this video, we're going to start doing some more advanced things. We're going to bring in Network X once again, and we're also going to bring in another module called Matplotlib. This is going to allow us to take the data from Network X, the graph data, and represent it visually. And what I'm going to show you in this video is how to do this in a, a very simple way, and then also in a bit more complex way for creating multiple graphs at the same time, and for also creating multiple graphs that are rendered uh, separately. So without further ado, let's just jump right in. We're going to do the same thing we did last time. We're going to import network x as nx. This is the Pythonic way of doing that. We're also going to import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. This is, again, the Pythonic way of rendering matplotlib in, uh, in a Python script. Always use PLT. Everyone else does. If anyone ever tries to look at your code and you don't have PLT, they're going to be probably not lost, but a little confused. Uh, and it's going to look amateur. So always import matplotlib.pyplot as PLT. So we're going to do the same thing we did last time. We're going to create a graph. We're going to do that by making an object G. And G is going to be equal to nx from network x dot graph, calling the graph function. This is going to create a graph for us. And once again, we are going to populate that graph with a couple different nodes. We are going to add Tom. And once again, we are going to add Jerry. So now we have these two nodes, Tom and Jerry. And as we saw in the last video, uh, this is how you kind of take that data. And in Python, it's being stored as a graph, but you can render it as a list. We're not going to do that in this video. In this video, we want to see that data actually rendered as a graph. And to do that, we need to call a function uh, from the nx library first. And that's going to be nx.draw. So this is the network x function of draw. And what we want it to draw is we want it to draw g. That's our g graph. And so what we are going to tell it to do now is to draw that image, but without any other modules, Python won't know what to do. So if we try to print this off or run the script right now, it's going to finish and nothing's actually happened. It's drawn the graph, but it's not able to actually represent that graph visually. So the way in which we're going to do that is by using the matplotlib module. And the way we do that is we just simply type in plt. We're going to call the show function. And what this is going to do is it's actually going to plot out our graph. And now what you have here is a very, very basic uh, network map. Obviously, there's not really a network happening. There's no edges. We're going to do that in the next video. Uh, right now, however, this is how you get a very, very basic graph. So what happens, however, if we have two different data sets that we want to kind of map out separately? Well, that's perfectly fine. We are going to simply create another object. We're going to create G2. And this is going to, once again, be an object that's going to be from the NX module. We're going to use the graph function. So this is creating a new uh, graph object. We are going to add in g.add node. And let's just uh, name these, uh, I don't know, Betty g.add node. Well, this one's going to be Lucy. So what happens if we try and do this right now the same way we had before? Let's run it and see. We are going to see all of this data rendered at the same time. Why is that? Oh, it's because I made a foolish mistake. And I need to do that. There we go. There we go. Now we only see the G data represented. The reason why it was happening before is because I was simply loading all of these nodes into the G graph. Instead, I needed to load them into the G2 graph. So here we have two nodes just represented. This, however, is not really what we want to see. We want to see both, uh, both graphs represented differently. Now, you might think to yourself, OK, next draw, G2. And yet, 
both are now being rendered on the same graph. We see these two dots here. This is not what we want to see. And to demonstrate what's happening here, let me just add an argument. Uh, I'm going to change this. I'm going to talk about how to do this in lecture number, um, adding colors and labels to things in later lectures. But for right now, I'm just going to do this just so I can demonstrate what's happening uh, better. So what you see how here is the G2 data being represented in red and the G data being represented in blue. The reason why this is happening is because we are calling both NX functions, the draw functions, right before we do the plot show function. So matplotlib is seeing this and it's thinking to itself, okay, I've got these two maps. I need to show them on the same image. What if you don't want that? What if you want to show them separately? Well, there's a couple different ways we can do this and they each kind of depend on how you want to render the data. So the first thing you can do is you can simply repeat this twice. We can show the first graph and then show the second graph. So we see this and we just get one picture. Why is that? Well, let's look at, look at what's happening in the Python script. Right now in the Python script, we are stuck right here at plt.show. And the reason why we're only seeing one graph is because we're still there. That function is still running so long as this graph is open. As soon as we close this graph, however, this is going to move down to the next line and do this next function and then this next function. So let's see what happens when we close it. And voila, our second graph has appeared. This can be, however, very annoying if you want to look at two data sets visually at the same time. So how do you go about doing this? Well, the way in which we're going to do this is we're going to use the figure function. So what we are going to do first is we are going to plot figure one. This is going to be our first figure. We're going to get rid of this PLT show because we want to show everything at the very end. And then what we're going to do is we are going to use the plot figure two. Now what is happening here is we are telling, uh, Python that we want to create a figure. We're going to plot out a figure and that figure is going to be one. And that figure is going to do this function. It's going to NX dot draw G. We are then going to create a second figure and it's going to draw a second image. And it's not going to plot anything until the very end by using the show function. So when we run this like this now, now we get both of these uh, data sets rendered differently and in two separate figures, figure one and figure two. So that's kind of how you plot data on a map using the matplotlib library. If you notice, however, there is something that's very annoying right now. We don't have anything that kind of d tells us what these nodes are. We don't know if this is Betty or we don't know if this is Betty or this is Lucy. We don't know if this is Tom or this is Jerry. In lecture number five, I'm going to show you how to pass arguments to create node colors and to create labels so that you can actually plot out uh, data and see the actual names rendered with these nodes. But in the next lecture, we're going to show you how to do something that's a little bit more basic and more necessary before we get there. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to create edges between these different nodes using the edge function in Network X. For now, though, Play around with these commands, play around with these functions, get used and get comfortable to creating very basic graphs and matplotlib by passing network X data to it. Uh, and again, like I say in my past videos, you're not going to break your computer, experiment with it. Worst case scenario, you're going to load too much stuff in memory and you're going to have to reset your PC. You will not, however, harm it. Play around with Python, play around with matplotlib and play around with network X and just experiment with it for right now but get comfortable with being able to make a graph, create nodes, draw a graph, and plot a graph. And I'd really recommend getting comfortable with that figure function too. Mix up the order. See what happens when you move things around. See what happens if you put plot figure two up here. Uh, and that'll give you a really good sense through failure of what works and what doesn't work, and most importantly, why. Always think about why something doesn't work when you're programming, because it's following a very specific logic. So that's all for this video, and I look forward to talking with you in the next video about how to create edges in our network maps.